uh, I would like to speak with uh, Tetsuya Maruyama, uh, the Japanese director who is now in uh, Brazil. Uh, hello, Tetsuya. Hi, Andrea. Mm -hmm. we, we will be discussing uh, your film, and correct me if I will not pronounce it well, Shahin okay. no Ma. Uh, sha Shashin no Ma. Shashin, no ma. Shashin, Shashin yeah. no, no ma. Thank uh -huh. you for, for correcting me. And, uh, and I understood uh, that uh, for the concept of the film and for its content, uh, the word ma is uh, the, the main point. It is, it is the key uh, to, to the film. So could you please uh, explain to us what the word ma means in Japanese. Yeah. Um, yeah. First of all, thank you for inviting me for the, the chatting. I'm very honored to participate. And so uh, the word ma in Japanese means a lot of things we use in everyday context, like even the conversation between people, between friends and family, uh, because in the synopsis of the film, I wrote as if uh, space, interval, and it can be used for music, can be used for uh, architecture, but it's not really um, limited to physical space. For example, um, the time also, uh, you can use ma. And it's very used in everyday context in Japan. So, but it's, it's also a, a definition. I mean, the, the word that's not really trans, transferable to transferable, other language. Yeah, I, yeah I it's translatable mm -hmm, to I the see. language, to other languages. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and shashin means photograph in Japanese. So it literally means ma or photograph. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, in, this, in this title, I wanted to um, explore ma between the photograph because uh, this comes from my interest in celluloid filmmaking because this is made with a Super 8 film that my father used to film. And the celluloid film, you can see map of each photogram. So, <laughs> and I'm very interested in what appears in between photograms. So it's not, I mean, the film is not really about the image itself. To me, images can be any images, but I was more interested in what appears in between the images. I see, I see, uh huh, I see. It's very, uh, I was uh, like w watching the film, uh, uh, I was uh, really uh, concentrated on the, um, on the materiality uh, of, of the film. And I, uh, as, as I read uh, in the synopsis before, uh, I, I knew that, um, okay, so uh, what is, uh, being present or what is being uh, thematized here uh, is uh, space or interval, but it can be in an, uh, perceived in an abstract uh, way. So uh, what I was thinking about was uh, uh, especially uh, kind of uh, how can I like sink in to the uh, material, to, 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 the, to, to the grains Mm -hmm. <laughs> of, of, the, of each image, uh, but now what you are saying, uh, it, it's, uh, it's a great perspective that uh, what you also wanted to uh, make present somehow uh, is uh, what is between the single frames uh, mm -hmm. that uh, create the, the, the overall or continuing mm -hmm. and moving uh, image uh, in, mm -hmm. in, a, uh, in, a, in result. 
I see, I see. Uh -huh. And uh, so the, the, the original Super 8 material that you used, uh, uh, did you say that uh, it was uh, shot, it, it was shot uh, by your father? So th they were like uh, home movies made by your father or, or did, did you shoot some, some of them? Did you shoot? Yeah, um, it's actually a mix of material, different materials. So uh, maybe a half of the material is shot by my father. So it's from 1980s. And he used to have a camera, Super 8 camera, which was very common in Japan or in the world during the 80s. I mean, now it's coming back as a kind of aesthetic. Uh, but, um, and so my, my father used to shoot everyday scenes, uh, family going to a picnic <laughs> or me riding a bicycle. So very um, sub like sub common. subtle. Yeah, it's a very so, common scene. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. it's I a see. home movie. Yeah, yeah. And uh, about three or four years ago, three years ago, I went to visit my family in Japan because I now I live in Brazil. And I found this film, Super 8 films that my father used to shoot. And he gave me also a projector that he used to use. No. <laughs> so this film was shot uh, with the projector that he used to use also. Mm -hmm. So it's not mm -hmm. digitalized in the professional scanning. It mm -hmm. was a uh, capturing of the projection. Mm -hmm. So that, that's why you see kind of uh, imperfect images in the film mm -hmm. that appears like a texture of the, the images. Mm -hmm. And so the, the material is a mix. I mean, some part mm -hmm. is filmed by, by my father and some part I filmed mm -hmm. and I went back to Japan, mm -hmm. uh, which was in black and white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was very interesting because uh, the first time I used this film was in in a festival in New York called the Mono. There's a, a group called the Mono no Aware, mm -hmm. and they work with uh, analog film. So they really film the workshop, mm -hmm. a community-based workshop, and I presented this film in uh, original Super 8 format. Ah, oh, uh huh. I yeah. see. I see. And, yeah, and then. Uh, the physical difference between two materials because the one that was shot by my father was in single eight format called single eight which was produced only in Japan uh -huh. and the other was in super eight regular uh -huh. product film so when you project it you could see like the film was almost coming out from the projector <laughs> <laughs> I, I see <laughs> uh, I, I see. And yeah. uh, we also have a comment from one of our uh, attendees. Uh, he or she is writing nice. So there is also a time between the shootings, right? I mean, beyond the time between the frames, there is also a time between your images and the ones of your father. Ah, yeah, true. I ah. didn't think about that. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah, exactly. There is also yeah. this invisible yeah. time or space yeah. time between yeah. the, the period when your father shoot it and when you shoot it. Oh, very, very, yeah, very, it's, very so nice. Yeah, it's almost, it's almost 35, 35 years. After. 35 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see. Now, yeah, now I'm 37. The film was almost like... Oh. I think during the film, I, I had yeah two years, two years. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so some some of the parts uh, of of the film uh, were um, like the distracted. Uh, the the um, like, um, gets burned. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, exactly. It it it, mm -hmm. it seemed like uh, they were either burned or uh, there was some kind of mold or so some other influence of the time uh, on the film uh, material, some chemical or uh, physical ch uh, changes. Uh, did you uh, do this with the film material or uh, uh, is it um, 
uh, how you found uh, how you found uh, the, the material that it was uh, it, it was damaged in in cer certain parts uh, thanks to the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, so as I said, I didn't scan professionally. I mean, in the lab. So I filmed the projection. Uh, so and with the projector, my father gave me. So it was the film was actually burned in that frame. And I see. Uh, it's like a slow motion projection, and I could. Uh, adjust the speed mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. why I was mm -hmm. playing with mm -hmm. the speed of the, the, the projection yeah, and the speed of the yeah. frames. Yeah. And then in, in certain time you were too slow that uh, the, the bulb just uh, burned, uh, yeah, yeah. Burned, the, burned the image. <laughs> I see, I, I can yeah, see now, yeah, 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 yeah. sure, uh, nice. And uh, what I uh, wanted to ask is my, is my last uh, uh, question if mm -hmm. there is no question from the audience, from attendees or in the chat, let me check. Uh, no other questions. So uh, I, I would like to ask you about the, about the, um, uh, the, the uh, you, you also uh, said uh, or wrote uh, somewhere that uh, what was important for you was also uh, observing an intensification of certain senses uh, while uh, w watching uh, w watching the the film, and then when I was uh, uh, w watching the film, I was also uh, realizing uh, how you are working with my audible attention with uh, what I hear with, with my ears because in some parts uh, the, the film is without it, it's it's silent or there is only a very very subtle uh, sound but then in some part surprisingly suddenly we hear uh, something in, in a normal loudness and, and in that part I uh, it's for me as a, as a viewer it's it's like I, I was uh, uh, really connected only to the images and then I reconnected with my own ears and, and I uh, re-emphasized also the uh, audio uh, part of the film. Oh, yes, All, also audio. So how, how did you uh, uh, think about this? Was this your uh, intention or why, why the film is, why the audio is only appearing in, in, in certain parts of the film? Yeah, I think nowadays we are very, I don't know. Um, I was watching some films the other day and there was a Q and A or conversations also. And they were talking about how uh, we are afraid of image without sound, like even silent films, we are kind of uh, afraid of uh, encountering it or watching yeah. or ex experiencing Experiencing, we, we are yeah, not yeah, used to yeah. it anymore. Yeah. yeah, I think we're not used to it anymore. And I personally uh, started make films because of my interest in sound. With, um, uh, this film that the sound was recorded with uh, cassette tapes. So yeah, compared to uh, the other two directors that are present here, I'm very old, uh, old school. I, I use only old school techniques, Super 8 and cassette tapes. But I, I really like this physicality of the material. And so the sound, uh, I use was recorded by uh, my interest in sound, like recording everyday sounds and like me taking a bus uh, or you know, someone cleaning the street. So it's kind of um, this subtle everyday activities that probably don't look important to some of people, but maybe that's um, yeah, one of my interests to try to bring um, to, yeah, as you as you say, like it's the sensation of the audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm.
Thank, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, uh, yes, as, uh, as as you said, you use the uh, traditional uh, uh, tools and a traditional medium, the physical film and uh, magnetic tapes, uh, for uh, for for the sound. And you, you can see, yeah, in my back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. That's that's nice. And uh, and and Jack and Yoshiki are uh, working with uh, with very current uh, technologies, uh, uh, also hardware, but uh, especially softwares. Uh, but still, what all three of you have in common that uh, you are still uh, interested in exploring uh, the media including its materiality, although in the digital environment, uh, the materiality, of course, is uh, an ephemeral uh, term. Uh, it, it, it is not uh, the same as uh, we can touch uh, the, the, the film stock.